Hi everybody, Mark Burdick at Salzburg High School and joining me uh, following the community meeting uh, involving the future of the Salzburg program, football program, is Rick Harper, the school board president for Blairsville Salzburg and board members Mike Bartolini and Molly Stiles and Mike also chairing the activities committee to um, as they discuss the future of the program here tonight. Rick, first of all, good dialogue. Um, a decision was made here this evening about the future of the program. Tell our viewers and our listeners what was discussed and the outcome. Well, this is exactly what we wanted tonight. We wanted to hear from the community members and hear from the committee about recommendations about what we could do about to improve the Salzburg football program. But I'd like to correct you on one thing. It's not a decision made here tonight. It's just a recommendation to the board. The board makes the final decision. So tonight we made the recommendation to stay status quo, uh, but we did ask for more participation and more community involvement in getting that participation improved. There were about 80 people in attendance tonight, and Mike, you had to be encouraged with the uh, support that came out. Some comments, mostly pro, couple con, concern obviously about what the future is. Talk to that point as far as uh, what you heard from the audience tonight. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. I, th I think there's a lot of passion. There always has been in the community, but also some concern. Uh, a lot of folks want to have their children be able to continue to play football in a competitive environment. And uh, as Mr. Harper said, uh, we need to increase the participation. So it was encouraging to have all of the community members come out and listen and hopefully take heed that that is really what we need to continue on uh, into the future. Molly, you went along with the recommendation, and my apologies, yes, indeed, a, a recommendation. I was on a school board in the past, so I should have known better than that. But what did you hear What uh, were as you kind of sifted through the comments uh, tonight? Uh, what did, what was your takeaway? My, my takeaway was uh, that I, I see a town that wants to keep their football team in their town. Um, again, there were some that did have some comments about safety, and that's actually my number one concern. Um, I am worried about the safety of a, a small team. Um, more numbers give you more options. You're not playing your kids constantly. And uh, I did say that I don't want this to be a band-aid. Um, we need to come get the participation in the football program up. Mike, I heard that maybe the committee will maybe entertain ideas as far as reaching that goal. Uh, obviously, I think tonight, I wasn't hearing any concrete suggestions, but I, it sounded to me like you're going to explore avenues on ways to turn a roster of 19 into 25 or, or 30. Yeah, I think it's a grassroots effort that needs to start with the students. Somebody made that comment there, but it really does need to uh, start with kids and understand why are they not playing football, what are the circumstances, and then are there solutions for that? How do we get to the root of the problem? Uh, because there are enough kids that uh, that can come out, that can make a difference, that can help sustain the program. Uh, we just need to figure out what the circumstances are and how can we alleviate that, uh, the fact that they're not. Ten members in the Heritage Conference, athletics, their academic competitions. Overall, it's been a good thing. I, I dear, did hear comments tonight, maybe some people feeling slighted that the conference as a whole has not been more supportive. And, or did I misread that? And if one of you want to comment on in, that. In terms of the size of the Ligonier Valley School District, there's been some discussion about the unfairness of the difference in the size of the schools. But it also affects Marion Center and West Smoke, and there are also 2A schools. Uh, a co-op with Blairsville puts Blairsville in a difficult situation because they now become a 2A school. And unfortunately, I don't think we'll be getting a lot of kids from Salzburg if that were the case. Uh, we also mentioned tonight that the Heritage Conference expects Salzburg to play all their games. Or else, like we said this tonight, we could be here next year. Of those numbers, uh, a survey done, actually I totaled 6 out of 29. I think it was reported 5 out of 29 said they would go to Blairsville. Of course, it, it, it is what it is, uh, a survey right, right now. But what about the options that were laid out uh, for our viewers that may not know the options laid out by the Heritage Conference and then some of the things that Mr. Richards, uh, through his survey, uh, found out? Can anybody comment on that? Uh, so, so there really were three, I'm sorry, four, as we were corrected tonight, options. Uh, one was to remain uh, as we are today in status quo. Uh, the sec second option would be to combine with Blairsville in a co-op format. Uh, the third would actually be to 
uh, be removed from the Heritage Conference, but yet permitted to play in an in, in independent uh, fashion. And then the fourth, what am I missing, folks? Uh, remove the football program from the rain in, in the conference. Right, and and also perhaps a fifth would be to look outside at a different different conference that might be willing to take us. Uh, of those options, uh, and after again the deliberation tonight, uh, it just made better sense. Uh, for us, for the reasons Mr. Harper said, the reasons Ms. Stiles uh, uh, reiterated there, that uh, we just want to continue going uh, at the route that we're, we're at right now. On the subject of safety, though, uh, we can all agree that physical development between a freshman and a senior can be quite a difference. It can be a 50, 60 pound difference. The Heritage Conference requires freshmen to play varsity football, so now they're thrown into a small school system with only 19 players. They're forced to play. Where a school that has 50, 55 kids, you're looking at a lot of juniors and seniors who are much more physically developed. So to Ms. Stiles' point, it's a safety issue. And we heard parents out there tonight very concerned about that. Other concerns where some students, frankly, have to work, can't make the time commitment, uh, lack of parental permission because of safety, as Mr. Harper said, uh, no interest in football. Uh, as far as the overall polling of the male uh, student body here at Salzburg. All in all, guys, I would say uh, safe to say this accomplished what you wanted it to. It was a very civil discussion. Everybody behaved very professionally and everybody got to make their points. I, it was very successful. The recommendation from the committee will go in front of the entire board Yes, at the next meeting? At the next meeting as status quo. And when would that meeting? Fourth Tuesday of this month at 30. Okay. So that will do it from Salzburg, about 80 people in attendance. The recommendation from the committee to remain status quo, work on getting the numbers up, uh, and try uh, to play the complete schedule next year uh, in the Heritage Conference. It'll be interesting to see how it all plays out, a tradition of football here at Salzburg that dates back to about 1930 or so, according to my records. From Salzburg, for Render Broadcasting and our digital assets, I'm Mark Burdick reporting.